hello again. So, in the last episode, we made a few gargoyles, like this one that you can see on the screen here. And at the end of that episode, there was a picture of some of my own gargoyles, which had been glued on top of a decorative plinth, so I, uh, I thought I'd do another quick bonus video to show how I made them. Okay then, so for these, we'll need to cut out a couple of squares of thin corrugated card that's been cut to these sizes, and we're going to be wrapping those in some of the stone pattern from the Pillars PDF, and then glue them, one on top of the other, so that we end up with something like this. Next, we'll need to take a large milkshake straw, and also one of those tiny cocktail ones, and uh, again, we'll wrap those in some more of the plain stone texture. Then it's just a matter of cutting out a section that's a half inch tall from the large straw, and four similar sized pieces from the tiny straw. And all we're going to do is hot glue them on top of the cardboard piece in this configuration, so the large straw in the middle, and the four smaller ones kind of in line with each of the corners. And we can then add some more hot glue to the top of the straws, and glue a second cardboard assembly on top of that. Which should result in this kind of thing. So yeah, a nice little perch for our gargoyle. And speaking of the gargoyle, we'll then just need to glue it to the centre of the plinth. Like you can see me doing here. Which, as you can see, finishes off the piece nicely. Though, you can of course glue the gargoyles to an altar, or a tall column, or, or anything else that you think might be suitable. Anyway, in the last episode, I also mentioned that I was having some issues with the cardboard kind of separating. Um, not the texture peeling off, the actual cardboard peeling apart. So, as a little experiment, I decided to give the worst of these a coat of Mod Podge, just to see if that would help hold it together. And. As you can see, aside from giving the whole thing a slightly satin finish, and darkening the textures a little bit, it, uh, it does seem to have worked quite well. But uh, yeah, just a short bonus video again, as I am trying to get back into the habit of doing these, so thanks for watching as always, um, I hope it was vaguely useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.